Nina, the other big question here is Baker and that question mark we just saw beside his name leading into this discussion. I, I yeah. think when you think about him and possible options, look, I mean, Seattle's out there. You know, do you think that maybe Tennessee's in the mix there? What do you see for <laughs> Baker Mayfield when it comes to a potential destination for him? Laura, this feels like, you know, when you play musical chairs as a kid, and I want you to visualize all of mm -hmm. us playing. I feel like it's very confidently Marcus Spears would win with a lot of ease. <laughs> um, and and yeah. there's the kid who loses. <laughs> and frankly, that feels like Baker Mayfield right now yeah. because amidst this carousel at the beginning, just a few days ago, there were so many options. We were appointed teams like Indianapolis or, you know, Carolina. I mean, I guess hypothetically they could still be in the mix. Um, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, whatever. And all of a sudden, all the chairs are taken. And we should note, beyond him, Jimmy Garoppolo is still out there. Some yep. of these teams, like potentially Carolina and Seattle, will be looking at rookies. And his trade value for the Cleveland Browns is dropping and dropping and dropping. I personally believe it's worth taking a flyer on him if you don't have to give up much in the way of draft capital. I think his ceiling is higher than Jimmy Garoppolo's, but it doesn't seem like he has many options left because of all of the movement we just described. Um, Am I talking here? No, again? Mark is <laughs> supposed to go. No, go no. <laughs> I'm just taking the beat. He was so about musical chairs. Yeah. Like I, I know, I know it's, I know it's against TV rules, but I had to take a beat because I, like, <laughs> for Baker Mayfield to be the number one overall draft pick, to have played and now going into his fifth year, I believe, in the NFL, and there's no definitive answer. This free agency period is the antith antithesis of what I've been talking about with Baker Mayfield. It's too many unknowns. Mm. Whatever team decides to sign Baker Mayfield, they are betting on an unknown. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to hear because it's a lot of Baker Mayfield fans that hate my guts and think that I just don't like the man. But you cannot be in this league as a number one overall pick and have this many question marks surrounding. Not only are, do you have the ability to raise a team level of play, but can't will you hurt them? And yeah. that is the question that a lot of these franchises are answering by not by not having Baker Mayfield as an option before a Jimmy Garoppolo or a Matt Ryan move. So I, ju I just think this is a big indictment on how teams view Baker Mayfield more so than us talking about him or analyzing his play. Uh, Mina, but specifically to the play and fit, it, when you think about Baker and his style of play and really what the Browns were trying to do with Stefanski and comparing him up with Baker, yeah. is there a team still out there that would make a sense fit-wise for his skill set? Not really, honestly, and, and that's not about Baker, rather, you know, I mean, he, he's, yes, exactly, Marcus, like, I think part of the reason why teams are skeptical is because they view Carol, or pardon me, Cleveland as the most quarterback-friendly offense in the NFL, and they're asking themselves, if he didn't thrive there, can he anywhere else. I think it's also important to notice to note rather Baker Mayfield was very injured last year which yep. to Marcus's point is why this is all so hard to evaluate because evaluate because we don't know where his floor is as a quarterback and I don't think you can base it on last season. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus.